guys. So I'm really excited. You can see I got a little bit of a background. Sparkly. So today we're going to be testing out a couple things. Okay. I'm going to try using a transparent my stay mat because I'm thinking maybe it's the fact that I've been using um, sand that part of my makeup has been come up really kind of funky. Um, but we're going to, I went to Ulta and I got, oh no, oh, I dropped it. but they're doing their um, Days of Beauty and I got the Man Eater Eyeliner Tarte, normally $20 on sale for $10, so hopefully that will be awesome. And then it fell out, but we're going to try out this Buxom. Shimmering Lip Plumping Shine. Refreshing Tingling Sensation. Full on lip polish in Dolly. Meet Dolly, our most popular best selling shade that tingle, shimmer, shine, and pout your super sexy proportions. This sheer shimmering, sultry mauve hue creates a more a, creates the look of fuller, more voluptuous lips with the refreshing tingling sensation and pout plumping effect. Vitamins A and E help keep the lips soft, supple, and protected for silky smooth kisses. That'll keep them coming back for more. Sorry about that, guys. That was a knock at the door, and it was the mailman, new mailman. Um, luckily, I caught him because he dropped off mail that doesn't belong to me, um, and it's been happening a lot. So I had to make sure I caught that. But I got this in the mail, which is um, these are charging cables supposed to be guaranteed for life. My sister found the deal. Oh, we got them in gold. It was buy two, get three free. So I spent 35 bucks for five cables and they're supposed to be guaranteed for life. Never, never broken. So one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, cool. There's that. And I got this box. I think I know what it is supposed to be a really cool strap as well. But let's get back to where we're going. Um, better than sex mascara. It's just the regular one. We're gonna try this today. Yay. Plus it's so cute. Like look how cute that is, okay? Little things. Like look how cute this lip gloss is. And for anyone who knows me, I love little things, like little packages, little boxes. I love sample sizes, as long as they're like a shrunk down version. So that makes me very happy. So let's look at this. Obviously I got it in black, but I've, I, I've watched a couple YouTubers and this is supposed to be really cool. Oh, it's a twist off. Okay, okay. We will see. Let's get all this ready. And then we will get on to the makeup. You know, I remember to get my background. Still haven't gotten a plate. I am just slacking. Put all my trash in one spot. This no copyright sound channel, you guys, is pretty awesome. If you haven't checked them out, um, Manny MUA uses them. Luckily, it's not gonna be a long night, cause guess what I forgot again? I, I forgot my primer. I'm awesome. Sorry guys, at least it's a clean face. Always put makeup, always put makeup on a clean face, okay? I am just having issues today. I wasn't too happy. I went to go turn in my assignment online because it's the beginning of class, you know, Wednesdays. My computer didn't save it. I had to rewrite 
the whole thing on the fly because my computer didn't save it. Not too happy about that. Like, oh my gosh, that's I spent so much time getting prepped ahead and it wasn't and I didn't save it. And that's very frustrating because I'm trying to stay ahead of my classes. Oh, that natural light is super bright too. Let me see if I can fix the blinds a little. There we go. That's better. Better for both of us. Um, trying to stay ahead so that I don't feel overwhelmed and frustrated with school because I am going to school full time and working full time. And I worry. I worry a lot that, that I'm not going to do well. And I have my friends all the time tell me that I'm going to do just fine. Oh, this is really light today. I don't know what's going on. Why I can't get a good shade match going on, guys. Blend, blend, blend. Um, if you ever want to know where the term beat your face, I'm sure this is it. And always go right here by the earlobes. You see a couple beauty gurus on YouTube do that. It's to make the line smoother. It's to make your makeup line smoother. So you also bring it down your chin. So that you don't have a harsh line. I don't think I'm gonna do concealer since I'm only going to be wearing my makeup for a couple hours before I take it off. But I wanted to do a video testing out my new products because I really want to try my new product that I just got. pretty good. I am really happy with this Wet n Wild foundation, you guys. Um, you definitely want a sponge. I haven't seen anyone really happy with the way it looks with a brush. You want a sponge. And then the best part, like you see a spot that, like, even though you're tapping and blending, you can swipe and fix it and smooth it right up. set my face because oh well that was messed up now I'm gonna set my face because what you need to do oh sorry guys again my awesome morphe brushes so we're gonna try using the transparent I'm seeing if maybe this one had a scent this brush, you guys. I love this brush. It's big. It's fluffy. It's so fluffy I can die. It's super important to set your creams with the powder. And for me, 
So this is not a mattifying foundation. I need the mattifying powder. Keep my oils at bay. Because I seriously... I seriously, because I always use a mattifying foundation, I was using a mattifying powder that thinking, oh, like I'm not as oily. I'm not oily like I thought I was. So wrong. Totally oily. I carry blotting sheets now. Let me make sure I set my eyes because I use foundation as my primer today. It's looking good already, guys chin test all right see and that's zero zero one transparent and I was using zero zero three natural and this is making me a little pinky see and you can actually see this is more of a banana I would imagine and you can see the difference this was adding so I'm gonna set that in my drawer and this is gonna go in the bag And if you watch my video last time, I think I kind of, a little bit, oh my gosh, I should not have my brushes right behind my camera stand. Um, I think I kind of, kind of getting this, this bronzing thing. And this is just a pointed contour brush from Morphe. Hello, Sapphire. You know, it just takes practice. Blend, blend, blend. Oh, that's a little bit of a harsh line. The nice part about setting your face before doing contour and stuff, you know, I was watching a Laura Lee video the other night and she's like, it helps when you're putting the powder over the powder and it blends. It's a little harsh on camera. This side doesn't look. I mean, it's it's a it's a learning curve, you guys. You gotta just be okay with making mistakes. I mean, I say that, and like I try to preach it, but I'm not good at listening to my own advice, you guys. I'm, I'll just be honest. Any of my friends will tell you I'm great giving the advice that it's okay to mess up it's okay to fail but I am so hard on myself just warm up the perimeter of the face I'll apply that double chin I mean I don't have a huge double chin I have like itty bitty At least this is what I see the pros doing it on YouTube. <laughs> That's how they do it. I still haven't fixed. I'm gonna remember to do it. I'm gonna remember to do it today. physics he tried to help me out and that whole pan I'm go with the more I think this one is the yeah this is the Ulta cheek powder I got I got two of the 21 piece kits and I gave the other one as a birthday present oh sapphire don't don't fall off my lap and claw me please and this peachy gosh look at that I love I love peachy blushes, you guys. Look at that. A little bit of a harsh line. Let me blend that out. You know what? I'm going to set this over here so that I remember to dump all the broken. And then just wait to see if Ipsy sends me another blush. If not, this is supposed to be a blush tart. Oh, sapphire. It's a bronzer blush. Mm. Yeah. I 
I'm gonna try relying on this one till I use this up before I buy a new blush because I have somewhere I mean I'm a girl of course I have blushes everywhere hello girl who loves makeup and um, I'm really good about my spending um, so I haven't really been doing a whole lot of spending which is good you know cuz I got bills to pay now I'm gonna use this blush that I got from Ipsy from Ofra because it's a really good highlight because I'm doing a lot of a lot of peachy tones today apparently I'm very peachy today and it's a and it's a peach it's supposed to be a peachy blush but it's such a it's a golden highlight you guys maybe the highlight is named peachy blush or peach blush I don't know but it's an amazing highlight hey look I'll have room for it in my pan now got it in ipsy Can you see that? A little bit. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. Like, that's the highlight right there. That natural light hits it, it's just shine on. All right, what are we gonna do with these eyes? this taupey brown in the crease. <laughs> My nose. I had so much going on today. And I feel like, like I want to take a nap. Like seriously, like I just can't bring myself to taking a nap, but I'm like, ugh, I could really use a nap. You ever have those days where you just wanna take a nap? Then you feel guilty. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm feeling a little guilty. So I won't take, that's it. That's it. Moving my brushes. I should have learned already, and I didn't. I haven't even used this brush. I don't remember what this brush is for. I'm gonna have to look. It's a G36. I'm gonna look. It's like a buffing brush, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Here's what I'm looking for. Let's see if this light color shows up. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that's very pretty. Super light. Super pretty. Oh, yeah, you can. That's picking up on camera. Good. I'm going to layer a little bit of this grayish purple on it. Yeah, that turned out really pretty. Okay. You know, I never know what I'm gonna do as far as my makeup goes. I just kind of sit down and then see what colors kind of speak to me. I'm trying not to spray them today. I'm trying to see do I tr if I like their pigment without any help. Sapphire. No. Plus I want a really nice pretty eye look if I'm going to try to use that um, new eyeliner. Okay, let's buff it in. Always blend, blend, blend. If you think it looks janky, blend it in. Blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. I'm actually really satisfied with this look. I probably could have gone without the contour. Mm. I'm feeling 
feeling like my face is a little harsh. Like right in the cheeks, just sorry. Yeah. Maybe an intense eye will fix my fears. Time to switch it to the 10X. Okay. It's really smooth, which I appreciate. I want to try the vamp stamp. Vamp stamp's like $25. But I'm not hearing any bad things about it yet. This is super easy to tight line with, you guys. It's not dragging too much. Um, if anyone knows the joy of tight lining. Because sometimes you don't want to do a big, huge, thick. I don't. Because of um, my eye shape and the lids coming down, I don't like doing the big, huge wings and the big, huge lines. I like a tight line so you can still see some of the makeup. If I don't tight line and I just do a big, huge chunk, What's the point of doing the eye makeup? I could just do eyeliner. So if you're ever curious as to why I always tie line, that is why. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's not bad if you want to just want to do like a subtle so I mean it's not bad it's it's going on super easy super creamy sorry my nose is running you guys always as soon as I put makeup on Now the fun part, the other eye. All right, I always goes on way smoother than my left. Even if I do my left eye first, I feel like my, my left eye is more wrinkly, got more skin wrinkles. And different people will tell you not to, see, look at people, different people tell you not to do it. But sometimes for me, Can you hear her in the background? She is loud today. I'm trying to make this as even as possible. Well, my eyes are definitely sisters and not twins today, but it's not bad. I like the way that line is better than that, but it's not bad. I just, I don't know what, like, ooh, okay. I don't know what that's for.
I don't know. Okay. You're definitely not going to get a super crisp line. Like you would with a with a liquid pencil. And this definitely could be darker. Not bad. Not bad, you guys. Next. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Let's look at this. The famous applicator. This is nice. It's going on smooth. I mean, it's weird that they call this mascara better than sex. Because this mascara is definitely not making me Ooh and ah, it's a good mascara. My Mary Kay intensity. <laughs> the faces we make when we do mascara. One of these days, and I can afford it. Hi, sweetheart. She used to see her. She's leaning up against me looking like this. One of these days when I can afford it. I want to get the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Ouch. Because that's supposed to be super awesome. I don't know if you can see. No, you can't see it. But it actually added just a tiny bit of a curl to this side of my lashes, which I really appreciate. But this side, not so much. Like it's, it's got a hold of a couple of them to curl them, but oh, Clump City, that was an accident. Semi recovered. Okay. So it's not gonna be super, super intense. What in the world? There we go. It's not gonna be super intense night. Might go watch a movie, have some dinner, do some homework, chill. Oh, yeah, super sheer. Oh, it tingles right away. The applicator is adorable. Tiny little doe foot. Makes your lips super glossy. And there's a little bit of a tack to it, but it's not too bad. I probably should put a color on underneath it, but yeah. So, this is the finished look. It's a little intense for my outfit, but this is what I'm wearing. Because, well, this is what I'm wearing. But, 
I'm gonna check in later tonight so we can see how the mascara, see how the eyeliner, see how many times I had to reapply this lip plumping, how long it takes for this. It's not a burning, it's a refreshing, like, Like when you first bite into like a, a minty gum and just get that first up, that's what it feels like. Um, yeah, what's that smell? It's like a, a butterscotchy smell actually. I wanna say butterscotchy. Yeah. But I'm really happy with the way this look came out. My contour is a little little dark. I probably could have done tried a little harder with that. I think the transparent powder is definitely the way to go. But thank you for sitting through another long video. Um, the check-in at the end of the night will be won't be very long because it. I mean, it's just lips, the mascara. There's not a whole lot you can do as far as reviewing mascara except for telling you like if it clumped off. Like it's dried right now and it doesn't feel crunchy. They feel nice. Um, see how the eyeliner wears if it gets smudgy um, and okay say hi sapphire and um, yeah so I'll check in with you guys at the end of my night and we'll see you guys later bye hey guys so I'm checking in the eyeliner stayed put I just I wish it was darker um, the mascara It's just like any other mascara. You know, you would expect a lot from something that's called better than sex. Um, the lip gloss, I ended up putting my Ulta Matte Blooming underneath it. And the feeling doesn't really fully go away. Even as the glossiness completely goes away, you always feel a little bit of something. Um, and the powder, transparent was the way to go. It did a good job. Uh, my face isn't turning super orange, isn't off colored, so it's definitely the way to go. Um, if I just want a soft look, the eyeliner is good. I like it. I was glad I spent $10 on it. I would not spend $20 on it. Um, I don't think I would get the full size Buxom lip gloss. I don't think my looks, lips look any plumper. But it's not a bad gloss. And the mascara. I have better mascaras. And Tarte does a really good mascara that does a way better job than this better than sex mascara. So those are my thoughts. Did you guys notice? I forgot to do my brows today. My eye makeup looks great, but totally forgot to do my brows. <sighs> yeah, by the way, uh, went and saw the Power Rangers movie. not okay uh the original pink ranger cameoed at the end and the white tiger but like don't have any expectations for it to actually be like the power rangers and you won't be disappointed it's not a bad movie it's weird but my power rangers growing up were not a band of misfits like they were in this movie Spoiler alert. They make them a band of misfits. It's ridiculous. Anyways. So, that's my final thoughts. I actually did not have to blot today. Uh, I probably could blot, but I'm going to take my makeup off. So, we'll see you guys later. Bye.